got a right to chicken done right. I make it tender, juicy, every bite. I make fresh hot biscuits and tasty fresh coleslaw. You got a right to chicken, chicken done right. Nobody makes chicken like we do with the Colonel's secret blend of herbs and spices. It's finger looking good. Kentucky Fried Chicken, we do chicken right. MCI has rolled off these long-distance savings before, but maybe you didn't know that you can now use MCI's more modern system to call any other phone in any other state from coast to coast. And that it doesn't matter how few or how many calls you make, or at what hour you want to make them. Call MCI and join the millions of people who get their money's worth from their long-distance phone company. Tonight we'll tour a police museum here in Northeast Kansas. That's our Friday feature on News 13 at 6. Star Search, Friday night at 11.30 on WIBW-TV. And now we continue with Guiding Light. I'm enjoying your company, that's all. That's all? <laughs> You're as attracted to me as I am to you. Warren, you've just lost your wife. Yes, I did. And I loved Leslie Ann with every fiber of my being. No woman could ever hope to replace her. What I felt for Leslie Ann has nothing to do with the way I feel about you. How flattering. You are the most dynamic woman I've ever met. You go after what you want with a vengeance and you don't stop until you get it. I've seen that same ambition burning in you. Yes, well, together we could ignite magnificent fires. Why don't I freshen your drink? Put out that fire. Who wants hey, another one? Me? Who's ready for another one? Oh, oh gentlemen, here. please don't oh, fight over it. I'll take oh, it. The winner. Please. Okay, there oh, you go. Thank you. Come on. These things are terrific. Yeah, then I'm back. Oh, Bauer Bruce. Sounds like a dog food, doesn't oh. it? Oh, thanks. Yeah. Would right. you? Tastes kind of like a dog food. <laughs> <laughs> hey, chef, what's your secret, huh? Vulgar wheat. Vulgar oh, wheat? Oh. Freeze my lips. No, don't do me any favor. All right, I'm going to get you for that anyway, though. I'm going to propose a toast here. Oh, yeah. good, good. Two. Jim. Dr. Jim. Oh, right. All right. Okay. You're here. Hey, Dr. Wow. Jim. Yeah. Hard work, mm -hmm. dedication, uh -huh. and ultimate success. Dr. Jim. Here, here, here. Cheers. Mm. Oh, boy. Uh. No, 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 no. It's my turn. Uh, no, it's my turn. <laughs> to my brother. Every girl should be so lucky. And every hospital should be so lucky. To your continued success, Jimbo, in your new research unit at Cedars. Oh, here, do here, it. here, here, here. Jimbo, I like that. Jimbo, stay here. Okay. <clears throat> uh, uh, this could turn into some serious drinking here now, mm -hmm. folks. I think. <laughs> Thank you for saving my life. And, uh,. Thanks for saving my career. Did you ever have one? Uh, I'm gonna drink to it anyway. <laughs> okay, Ramsey, your turn. Um, thanks for making me your assistant. I'm very glad that this research has brought you such success. I'm gonna miss you. Uh, you've always been number one in my book. Um, it's kind of late. I'm, I'm gonna get going. I gotta really, really call tomorrow. Clara? Uh, I'm exhausted, really. So, thank you all. Claire, Claire, hold on. Come on. Hey, hey, hey. Come on, what's up? 
<laughs> Something's in there. Well, come on, you and I are too close of friends now. We've gotten to know each other too well, and I know that something's been bothering you these past few days. Now, come on, tell the doctor. What is it? I miss working with you, Jim. I miss the lab work. I miss you. Would you care to order now, Mrs. Spaulding? How many times do I have to tell you that I'm waiting for my husband? Thank you. Very well. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I'm late. Well, you should be. I just, uh, I lost track of time at the library, and I got caught in traffic on the Since way over. Since when do they have a library at the boarding house? What? So you did go to see her. Yes. Who told you? Why did you go to see her? I wanted to talk. Talk to me! Why do you always go to Beth to talk? You, you can talk to your wife. No, I can't. Why not? Because we don't know how to talk to each other, Mindy. We're talking right now. No, we're not. This is talking. We're saying words. Sure as hell not communicating. We don't know how to do that. I've tried. And I know you have, too, but it just, the harder we try, the worse it seems to get. If we keep going on like this, we're going to end up hating each other. I really do not want that to happen. So what can we do, then? Our marriage just is not working, Mindy. You no. Know? On any level. What are you trying to say? I think that we just ought to face the fact that we don't belong together. I think we should separate. Hey, Alan. I sure did. How's Grandma? 